After the British won the first Anglo-Burmese War, 1824 to 1826, they freed Manipur, made Burma cede its Assamese territories and retained power over the provinces of Arakan. The British government spent an injurious sum of more than one billion pounds in today's money. 90,000 soldiers fought in the war and ended with the signing of the Treaty of Yandabo, 1826. Gambir Singh ascended the Manipuri throne. When the war ended, several British political agents like Captain Gordon, James Johnston and Grimwood were sent to overlook the political situation in Manipur. After the death of Maharaj Shanjarkiti in 1886, the eldest son, Shul Chandra, ascended the throne. Kula Chandra expressed his hateful dissent over the rule of his elder brother. He didn't like him that much. A palace coup cemented Kula Chandra's claim to the throne. Shul Chandra wrote to Lord Lansdowne, the Viceroy of British India suing for revenge. The Chief Commissioner of Assam, J.W. Quinton, the 400 of Gurkha armies came to Manipur. Quinton reached Impal. On March 22nd, Quinton demanded immediate surrender of the main conspirator, Tikendrajit. And on that night, the British troops overran Tikendrajit's residence, but failed to capture him. Having expressed his desire to return to Kahima to the Maharaj, Quinton attended the performance of Ras Lila, which he specifically asked for. And on the morning of March 24th, he opened fire upon the palace. Frank Grimwood, the political agent, was speared to death. Five British officials, including Quinton, were beheaded in front of Kangla Utra. Lalu were consecrated on Noon Goibi and their bodies buried in Kwairamba. The deathly news reached the British on March 27th. The next day, Colonel Charles Grant, with his troops, marched from Tamu, Burma. The British declared war upon Manipur on the 31st. Kohima and Silsha troops had been reinforced and ready. Taubwal, which was guarded by 800 men, fell quickly at the British hand. 2,000 strong Manipuri force with two guns fought tooth and nail with Grant troops for nine days all over the villages. The Tamu troops abandoned Taubwal on April 9th. Manipuri troops were severely wounded. The Gohima troops marched down on the 20th. Kong Jong War's commander, Chong Samia and Pauna Rajabashi, reached Taubwal and set up position at Kong Jong. Seal Sherb troops reached Taubwal on the 21st. The Manipuris gave a fierce fight with the Tamu troops at Balil the next day. The divine shield slipped. 12-pounder cannon shells fell upon the Manipuri battalion stationed at the foothills of Langatil. Removing his headdress, Kokiet, Pauna sacrificed his head to the British without submission. The 400 Manipuris fought the last battle on April 25th at Kongjong. Two British died, 11 wounded. On the 27th, the troops from Tamu, Silsho, and Gohima grouped at Park, raised Kanglashar to the ground, and unfurled Union Jack upon the Manipuri soil. More than 60 prisoners were released. Tikendrajit was captured on May 23rd and was hung by the neck until death on the 13th of August at Pedapur. 20 Manipuris were exiled for life. 
the British installed the five-year-old Churashant as the Maharaj of Manipur and seized power.